gentlemen, thank you. I'm with Bill Valerio. What a great name. Oh, thank you. It's like we should <laughs> sing it. Valerio. Yeah, well, I'm Italian. <laughs> there you, know, you are. And, yeah. What is your job here? So I'm the director of the museum. I keep all the balls bouncing. I run the place. You're the boss. I hate to say yeah. it, but that's the truth. Uh, how do you describe Woodmere? Woodmere is a museum for Philadelphia's artists. We collect the work of Philadelphia's artists. We show the work of Philadelphia's artists on the walls of our galleries, and we share it with people using the art to... You're telling me yeah. that every piece of artwork in this building is done by a Philadelphian? That is exactly right. Everything under the roof is a work of art made by an artist of this city. That, that's why the place is so special, then. My goodness. It, Woodmere is a place that has a special connection yeah. to the city of Philadelphia and to the people of Philadelphia. Okay. I'm fascinated yeah. by the, yeah. the person that created all of this. Charles Knox Smith was Woodmere's founder. He was a great city leader, a wealthy man who had made a fortune in the mining industry. But he didn't start out wealthy. No, that's right. He grew up in Kensington. His first job was to be a, kind of a messenger boy for a big company that had mining interests in western Pennsylvania. By the way, he started out working at a grocery store, then he went over to the mining people, right? Exactly. Well, okay. yeah, yeah. So he worked in a grocery store and he became like the guy who went to get lunch at the grocery store Come for the on. company. No, it, it's a great, it's one of the great, you know, American dream stories yeah. that there is. And, you know, what he loved, I mean, what he did in his spare time mm -hmm. was look at art, collect art, a lot of the work that you see here. And then he gave it to us. And he gave it to the Thank citizens you. of Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah. Another thing I'm fascinated yeah. about, two things yeah. in this one room yeah. over to the left here, yeah. is a portrait of him that yeah. I think that was painted in 1913. Uh, uh, exactly. Okay. It's very soon after Woodmere opened, Charles Knox Smith opened the doors to this place in 1910, and that portrait was commissioned to be part of the museum, his way of welcoming everyone. Everyone but hold on to what man that table right over there. Yeah is in that painting Absolutely, he's showing the great objects from around the world that he brought together at Woodmere to create an experience that would nurture yeah. curiosity yeah. and interest in you know the arts um, for his fellow Philadelphians. What's the deal with the dollhouse? The dollhouse is very cool. It's a family heirloom, a family that lived in a great house on the west side of Rittenhouse Square. The house is no longer there. The Rittenhouse Hotel is. Yeah, that's... But um, the family has kept it. Um, children have played with it through the generations. Works of art in Woodmere's collection were part of that mm -hmm. family's art collection. Mm -hmm. And so you'll notice inside the dollhouse that there are dollhouse versions of some works of art oh from gosh. Woodmere's collection. Speaking of art, this yeah. room, it seems like it's dedicated to children, a study of children. You, uh, you're. Uh, you're absolutely right. This exhibition is all about children being able to see themselves mm -hmm. in art. We want kids to know that museums are fun places. And so if kids can find themselves in the paintings, they can find emotions, they can find creativity, they can find the ideas that we all turn to art for yep. as we live our own lives. Boom. Great to meet you. So nice. Hey.